if you ever talk to some of the best presenters out there and ask what's their secret for great PowerPoints, one of the number one answers coming back will always be, I use my master slide. And a lot of people say, what is a master slide? Well, that's why I'm glad you're taking this CBT micro nugget with me today. So let's get down to business. Many people have always asked, you know, Chris, why does when I open up a brand new PowerPoint and, and I use the blank template, I notice that the title always kind of shows up here on this first slide, the title slide. And, and I notice the subtitle kind of appears here and they use the office theme. And even if I click on a new slide and I choose the title and content, well, who decided that the title goes up here and the content goes here or on a comparison? How does this all work? Who makes it work and how does it all work? OK, so you can click on it. Go, oh, look, the title. And by the way, I noticed that the title here looks similar to the title here. In fact, if I click on it, I notice that it's a Calibri heading of 44. If I come over here, I click on it, it's a Calibri heading for 44. How does that all work? Well, believe it or not, behind the scenes, under the hood, is what are known as master slides. There's a master slide for the overall presentation as well as a master slide for the layouts, the different layouts that you have. Now, the way that you can go in and see all this is by clicking on View and uh, you know, pop the hood on this Lamborghini, you just uh, go over here and click on Slide Master. When you do that, you are then seeing the behind the scenes of what is controlling the layout, what is controlling your destiny. I would use the force, but you know that's not really happening here. If you take a look at this, you have different layouts that all flow from your master title slide. You'll also notice when I roll my mouse over this that currently the one that's highlighted, the layout is highlighted, is the current slide that I was on back before my view. So if I close the master view, look, I'm selecting this slide. This is my slide that I have. I click on view, I click on slide master, and this is selected. It also, if you roll your mouse over, it shows you that it says the title and content layout is used by slide two. The title slide layout is used by slide one. And in fact, if you had many, many different slides, it would actually show you all the different slides that use this particular layout. And then of course, there's this, the office theme slide master, the overall theme master, which is used by slides obviously one and two because we only have two slides. Now what you can do at this point is notice you can change the actual way, if I click up here, you can change the actual master title slide. Um, if you don't want this particular font, if you don't want it to appear at this particular place, or even if you want your bullets to appear in a different, uh, you know, different bullet types, uh, different uh, levels, you know, those kind of things. You can add another level if you want. This is all done at the master title slide, and it then flows through every single one of these particular uh, slide layouts. Now you can of course override some of these, like this is a different um, master title slide that you can use. This is a different title slide. You've got this section header and this is a title slide layout. So you know the two things. This would be a section, this would be a title. You can make these changes and do this any way you want. Now to kind of show you how this would work where if you make a change here how it flows between all of the other layouts I went ahead and I've opened up one of my Acme Instruments catalog from my PowerPoint 2010 or 2010 series make sure you check it out at CBT Nuggets especially if you want a more in-depth look at master slides and all that if you take a look at this I've got a Trek theme notice down here and so it's got a background and I've, it's got a you know I've got my title here and this is the way the title appears here and then my content and I've got certain things going on here and here and here and you know but I have several different slides and they all have different things going on right now what if I wanted to change the background let's say this you know this one only has six slides in it but let's say I had a hundred slide presentation where you have different people stepping in and doing the presentation I want to change the background at every single slide can you imagine going to every single slide I didn't think so that's why we have the master slide so I click on view click on slide master I s click on the uh, master title slide here for the theme our truck slide master notice it's used by slides one through six and I say, you know what, the background here. Notice I have my master layout, what's enabled, the placeholders and those kind of things. But uh, here I got themes and colors and fonts, but here's background styles. Click on that, and this theme gives me a total of one, two, three, twelve, twelve different types of backgrounds, colors that you can do. Now, if you think, oh, that's all I have. No, you can go and format the background. You can open up the dialog box and add a picture, do anything you want. But in this case, let's go to the black herringbone. I want to go to a black herringbone here. I click on it, and oh, look at that. 
all the way through every single slide now has that background and let's say something else let's say I wanted to change the uh, bullet here I've got a little uh, you know a multiplication then a plus multiplication kind of a thing I want to change this to a different type of bullet on all the slides all I would need to do is select here come over here to home where my bullets our settings are bullets and numbering I want to take this one, customize it, and let's say I want to change it all to a star. So we click it to a star, I click OK, and now it's a star, I click OK, and now the second level is now all the way through, because notice it's over here, it's over here, and it's over here, it's over here. Everywhere there's a bullet list, the second level now has a star by default. Now, can you go back in and change that? Yes, of course you can. But why when you can just have everything laid out in perfect style right here on your slide master? That's what I say. Now, I close the master view and now check this out. I have the black herringbone here. I have all these things in place. And so that is what a master slide is going to allow you to do. Now, of course, ch check out the uh, CBT Nugget series on PowerPoint 2010, and you get a whole bunch of other things on how you can do multiple masters, how you can change the layouts, you can you know tweak things, all kinds of different uh, things that you can do to make your PowerPoint presentations flow and have that same look and feel. That's the power of a master slide. Well, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for joining me.